previously on SmackDown vs. Raw 2006 John Cena story. There's the hurricane and his sidekick in the GM's office. But who's in the GM's chair, JR? I have no idea, King. It's not Eric Bischoff. That's for damn sure. Oh, no! You've got to be kidding me. Surprise! I bet you two didn't expect to see the coach in the general manager's chair. You're the new general manager of Raw? What's up with that? Well, Mr. McMahon likes to say that I'm the interim general manager and that he's still looking for a permanent replacement. But I think we all know that he's just saying that to smooth over some bruised egos. drawing us out any longer than necessary. For the past several months, I've heard nothing but complaints from the Raw superstars and fans about the way Eric Bischoff has vacated damn near every title on Raw. So, Eric, I'm giving you a chance to come on out to this very ring right now and explain your actions. remind you that you stand on dangerous ground here tonight so what do you have to say for yourself well mr. McMahon as everyone knows I used to be in charge of WCW the most dominant force in the sports entertainment industry what was it 88 weeks in a row that we beat this very show in the ratings 88 straight weeks yeah and we all know how that turned out. I used to be the undisputed king of sports entertainment. I take exception to that. And now look at me. I became nothing more than a lackey. Under the thumb of the WWE Board of Directors and the almighty Vince McMahon. Well, I'm sick of it. I've been sick of it for a long time. And about six months ago, I decided to do something about it. I was approached by someone who promised me enough financial backing to raise a new sports entertainment empire that would rival the mighty WWE. In exchange for his support, all I had to do was handicap Raw in any way I could, while at the same time, lend my genius to this new venture of yours. Genius? So I stripped the Raw superstars of their titles and put them in the most grueling matches conceivable. And all the while, my partner was making deals and targeting the WWE for a hostile takeover. Now you're probably wondering why I've chosen to reveal this master plan tonight. Well, quite frankly, it's so close to fruition that not even the great Vince McMahon can stop us now. So it is my great pleasure to introduce you to my partner. He is a true titan of business and sports entertainment. Save it! It's JBL, right? What? John Bradshaw Layfield, the WWE Champion. That's your partner, am I right? Mr. McMahon's one step ahead of Bishop. You see, I've known about your pathetic little scheme for a month, Eric. Did you seriously think you could just start vacating Raw titles without me taking an interest in why you were doing it? I think Mr. McMahon may be miles ahead of Bischoff. I've already contacted SmackDown General Manager Theodore Long, and although JBL doesn't even know it yet, this titan of business and sports entertainment, as you call him, has been stripped of his WWE title and fired from SmackDown. I know JBL's on his way here, and I also knew you two had planned some dramatic unveiling for your so-called master plan. 
Well, JBO's going to get a bit more drama than he bargained for when he arrives here tonight. You see, I've got someone waiting for JBL in the parking lot. The man who won an opportunity to challenge Triple H for the World Heavyweight title at WrestleMania. Raw's number one contender is going to meet JBL in the parking lot? What does that mean, JR? I don't think he's there to roll out the red carpet, King. I thought it might be a good warm-up for Raw's title contender to take on a world champion before WrestleMania. So when JBL shows up here tonight, he's going to find himself in a parking lot brawl. And by my watch, JBL should be arriving right about now. You, you, you can't be serious. You, you can't do this to me. I'm Eric Bischoff. I, I, I'm the general manager of Raw. I, I, I'm the only man to take on Vince McMahon and win. Eric, in case you haven't figured it out by now, the only thing you are is your fire. And not a minute too soon. Thank you, yeah. Mr. McBee. But that's not all. There's going to be a parking lot brawl between JBL and Raw's number one contender. JBL may be a true titan of business, but he's about to find out what happens when he sticks his 10-gallon head into Raw's business. And there isn't a damn thing Bischoff can do about it anymore.
One, two, three. Here's your winner, John Cena. in that parking lot brawl. JBL was plotting with Eric Bischoff to undermine brawl. And they both got what was coming to them. I won't shed a tear for either of them, JR. But what's Raw gonna do now that our general manager has been fired? Last week, on behalf of all the Raw superstars, I taught SmackDown a lesson about what happens when you try to mess with the dominant brand of sports entertainment. And Vince McMahon gave me his personal assurance that there will be no more interference from SmackDown until after WrestleMania, which is just how I want it. I've shed blood, sweat, and tears to get where I am today. The World Heavyweight title is the crown jewel in our business. And it brings out the best in every superstar that comes near it. Eric Bischoff could never understand that. And that's one reason why he's the ex-general manager of Raw. Amen to that. You know, I usually disagree with this joker about damn near everything. So I'm as shocked as anyone else to realize that we're on the same page this time. This is the crown jewel of our business. This is the ultimate prize. It's the last thing on every superstar's mind when they go to sleep at night, and the first thing on their mind when they wake up. I have to admit he's right, King. If the World Heavyweight title isn't on your mind, you're in the wrong business. And the single ultimate reason this title means so much is because it's around the waist of me. The game. Every loser in the back thinks that if he can wear this title, he might one day be good enough to be mentioned in the same breath as Triple H. Imagine that, JR. Who wouldn't want to be mentioned alongside an all-time great like Triple H? Oh, please. But listen to me very carefully. This title is a part of me, and I am a part of it. Without the title, my life has no meaning. Without me, this title is just a belt. Yeah, you may have your opportunity against me at WrestleMania, but you'll never beat me for this title. You'll never take away that part of me, so take a good look now, because this is the closest you will ever come to it as long as I'm around. And why? Because I'm that damn good. Oh my gosh! Triple H just knocked him out cold! What a noble champion. I tell you what, Triple H makes me sick. 
He just won the title, and I already can't wait to see somebody take it away from him, damn it. We've only been without a general manager for a week, and already Raw is turning into a madhouse. Stand back. There's a hurricane coming through. Well, look who it is. It's the Great Green Tomato. What's up, kid? Now listen up, you dastardly villains. The Hurricane is here to bring you to justice and truth, honor, and integrity to the World Heavyweight Championship. <laughs> oh, yeah? And how are you going to do that, exactly? By relieving you of that title, of course. With justice on my side, and my hero powers at my disposal, an evildoer like you doesn't stand a chance. Kid's got a lot of heart. Yeah, but it's not pumping any blood to his brain. <laughs> Hold on a second. You won a World Heavyweight title match. You against me <laughs> for this man I, I i don't think i'm ready to take on a superhero tonight at least not by myself tell you what how about you and your sidekick there take on me and rick flair right here right now surely you are familiar with the concept of a superhero team up citizen contender for one night only, I will take you on as my her sidekick and join forces with you to defeat Triple H's evil schemes. The battle is joined. Boy, what a match. I wouldn't even hazard a guess as to who's going to win this thing. What? Have you got both your contacts in one eye, JR? It's been obvious to me since the start of the match. Oh, really? Well, then, why don't you just enlighten the rest of us, King? No way! I can already tell this is going to be a great match, and I don't want to ruin the ending for you. You're too kind, King. You're also full of horse manure, as far as right. I can tell. These fans can't stand it when he does this, JR, Dude. but I think it's great! He's sure not going to win over any fans with that move, but I don't think that bothers him too much, quite frankly. What a reversal. This is great, JR. Would you call this one a slobber knocker? It's too early to... The submission has been expertly applied, and now it's just a matter of time. That's right, JR. You've either got to break the hold or get broken by it. He countered that one perfectly. I'm sure these competitors have studied each other very carefully. This match would be over by now if they hadn't, JR. You never get into the ring without doing your homework. That would be a recipe for disaster for sure, King. This capacity crowd is solidly behind their superstar. Look at this! Wow, could you be any more biased, JR? How about some fair and balanced commentary? They're taking it down a notch, JR. This could get interesting. They're picking their spots, King. You got to know when to hold them and when to fold them. I almost feel bad. Uh oh, talk about a hole you don't want to find yourself in. No kidding. This will rearrange your anatomy. Look at this, JR. One. Can you imagine SmackDown putting on a match half as good as this? No disrespect Two. intended, 
or our SmackDown colleagues, but no, I can't. Three. I truly believe Raw is a dominant brand of sports Four. entertainment. And you hit the nail right on the head there, JR. The dominant brand. Not the slightly better brand or the sort of superior brand. What? Absolutely not. I'm a Raw man. And I have to believe we're head and shoulders better than the competition. You won't get any argument from me, JR. Rope break. Exhibition is locked in, JR. And this is a tough hole to break. It sure is, King. And even if you break the hole, it takes its hold on it. You're not going to win a match by insulting Dude. your opponent. No. But having the crowd behind you can certainly Three. get the adrenaline pumping. Four. You know, JR. We could see a finishing move right here. He's got his opponent in position. I think he's going for it. No, it can't be. Not the FU. You can look at any professional sport you want, JR, and you won't find more incredible athletes than the WWE superstar. I can't believe he counted that one. If Hurricane's supposed to be some sort of superhero, then how did he get his power? Would you look at that? A blatantly illegal maneuver. That should be a disqualification. You might be right, JR, but I don't hear the ring bell. This match is still going. This is a classic matchup. I'm so glad the WWE fans are getting the chance to see it. Yeah, and I'm happy that I'm getting to see it too, JR. I just wish they'd pick up the pace a little. Oh no, this is classic old school wrestling at its finest. You, of all people, should be able to appreciate that, King. Wait a minute, JR. You're not trying to say that I'm old, are you? Of course not, King. Although there was that rumor going around about your social security number was one. Boy, this John Cena sure is one of the most exciting young prospects in all of WWE. Oh, he's not going to get caught with that one. Oh, here we go. What a jerk. How about continuing the match? I don't think he's in any hurry to end this one, King. And I don't think the crowd wants it to end either. One. One. This is Raw action Two. at its finest. That's why Raw is the number one brand Three. of sports entertainment. You got that right, JR. You're not going to see Four. this kind of action on SmackDown. Not on SmackDown or anywhere Five. else. There's nothing else out there that can come Six. close to the excitement of seeing the Raw superstars perform live. Looks like things have quieted down here a bit, JR. Well, you can be certain that won't last long. Time. That's for sure. I haven't seen the superstar yet who goes down without a fight. Look at the fans, JR. They know what's coming next. They sure do. And there it is. The FU. What an impact. He's got his opponent in a pinning position. There's no way that was going to be a three count. He must be looking for a weapon of some kind. Wow, there's a hole you don't want to find yourself in, JR. You sure don't, King. We've seen many a superstar tap out to this one. 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 I'll be honest with you, King. Two. This is not the one. He saw that one coming. Three. Look at that. He's Four. busted wide open. This is great. I don't know what's so great Five. about watching a human being brutalized like this. Six. Come on, JR. You know this isn't ballet. 
Seven. Eight. Uh oh. Nine. Come on. You gotta stop this guy before he really gets going. I don't care. And that's the man. Here are your winners. John Cena. There's the hurricane and his sidekick in the GM's office. But who's in the GM's chair, JR? I have no idea, King. It's not Eric Bischoff. That's for damn sure. Oh, no! You've got to be kidding me. Surprise. I bet you two didn't expect to see the coach in the general manager's chair. You're the new general manager of Raw? What's up with that? Well, Mr. McMahon likes to say that I'm the interim general manager and that he's still looking for a permanent replacement. But I think we all know that he's just saying that to smooth over some bruised egos. I mean, where's he going to find a better GM than the coach? All right. Well, if you're done talking about yourself, let's talk about Triple H and what he did to me last week. I was just getting to that. Don't rush the coach or I'll strip you of your title shot. Ha! Just kidding. The coach is famous for his sense of humor. Now, I know you two gentlemen are skeptical, but let me make a couple of matches for you as a show of good faith. Now, I can't put you and Triple H against each other just yet, or it would spoil WrestleMania for the coach's fans. But I will give you a shot tonight against Triple H's right-hand man, Ric Flair, in a submission match. And as for you, Hurricane, I'm going to give you exactly what you were looking for last week. A world heavyweight title match tonight against Triple H himself. A title match? What is he thinking? Holy career opportunity. But citizen coach, what happens when I beat Triple H tonight and win the world heavyweight title? Surely you don't expect me to fight my sidekick at WrestleMania. You? Beat Triple H for the World Heavyweight title? <laughs> you're a funny guy, Hurricane. Sometimes I think you're almost as funny as me. Now move along, gentlemen. The coach is a busy man, and you've got matches to prepare for. What an absolute jackass. What has Raw done to deserve that moron as a general manager? The following contest is a submission match. On the way to the ring. And the opponent. A reversal. Can he capitalize on it? These superstars are at the top of their game, JR. They make it look so easy. And there it goes. The submission is locked in. Oh my gosh. He might make his opponent tap right here. I can't believe he countered that one. Yes, that was an incredible move. What strategy? Strategy my Oklahoma ass. That's cheap, plain and simple. What a counter. There's absolutely no question in my mind that Ric Flair is one of the true legends of this business. I just think it's a shame that many of his accomplishments are based on cheating, deception, and underhanded tactics. Haven't you ever heard the expression, oh boy, oh, this is not gonna be an easy hole to escape from. It sure isn't, JR. I've been on the wrong end of that one many times. Boy, this John's rope break. That submission is locked in, JR, and this is a tough hold to break. It sure is, King, and even if you break the hold, it takes its toll on you. Boy, this John Cena sure is one of the most ex Wow, there's a hold you don't want to find yourself in, JR. You sure don't, King. We've seen many a superstar tap out to this one.
talk to these superstars backstage before the match, and I don't think I've ever seen competitors so ready to get it on. And he saw that one coming. I can't remember the last. Oh, man. I've been in this hole before, JR. This brings back some bad memories. I can understand why, King. I can't even imagine the pain being inflicted here. You've got to love Ric Flair. The Nature Boy doesn't let anything stand in his way. Yeah, including the rules. I think if Flair wasn't a WWE superstar, he'd make a great lawyer or politician. What a reversal. I know you're not a fan of everybody in this match, JR, but you've got to respect their dedication to this business. Oh, absolutely, King. I don't have to like everyone on the roster to acknowledge that they've all worked long and hard to master their craft. Flair's a 16-time world He's got the crowd and his opponent in the palm of his hand. That can change in an instant, especially if you let your opponent catch his breath. Don't tell me he's about to do what I think he's about to do. You damn right he This has gone beyond you. He's really cranking up the pressure on that hole, JR. He's the referee has called for the bell. That's it. Here's your winner. Why do I get the feeling that Triple H isn't very concerned about tonight's title defense, JR? The odds may be stacked against the hurricane, there's no doubt. But that young hero has all the heart in the Stand world. Stand back. There's a hurricane coming through. King, you know what they say. Anything can happen in the WWE. tonight between Chris Jericho and the number one contender for the World Heavyweight title. I don't get it, JR. What's Jericho got to do with the issues between Triple H and the number one contender? I have no earthly idea what goes on in Jonathan Coachman's head. And I certainly have no idea why he made this match, King. I think Coach is the only person who can make me nostalgic for Mick Foley's term as general manager. Well, from the looks of things, it's not hard to tell how this one's gonna go. What are you talking about, King? I think this is still an extremely competitive match that could go either way. You know, JR, it's obvious that the only exercise you get is stretching the truth or jumping to conclusions. Well, judging from the shape I'm in, I don't appear to be doing too much of either, King. You're looking pretty fit, though, I must say. I never get tired of watching Chris Jericho in the ring. Every time he goes out there, he reminds me of why he's the first ever undisputed champion. 
Rope break. He's got his opponent locked in the submission, JR. This could be it. It could indeed. He might force his opponent to tap out right here. He reversed it. It looks like these superstars are looking for an opening. And the first one to find one will take control of this match. This has gone beyond just being a match, JR. I think these superstars genuinely hate each other. There's no love lost between these competitors, that's for sure. If this could kill, somebody would be pushing up daisies right now. And you've got to admit, that makes for a much more interesting match, JR. It sure does. But I just hope these superstars can settle their differences in the ring and leave it at that. And now a pin! This One, could be it! Two. That was so close to three, he could taste it. I don't think the fans appreciated that one very much, but I don't think he cares much what the fans think. That much is obvious, King. What a low-down, despicable move that was. It looks like they've decided to slow the match down a bit here. And this could be a big mistake, JR. You don't ever want to... He's really cranking up the pressure on that hole, JR. He sure is. There's no doubt he's looking for the submission right here. He saw that one coming. So come on, JR. Just between you and me, who are you pulling for in this matchup? I'd like to see a clean victory by a superstar with a lot of heart and a lot of intensity who puts on the best performance. He sees his opportunity, and he's going for it. And here he goes. The FU. It's the FU, JR. He's trying for a pin One, here. Two, three. I'm not sure I agree with That's the match, JR. I could have watched. Oh, oh, come on now. Save him for WrestleMania. I'm not surprised that Triple H and Flair couldn't keep their noses out of this. Of course, with noses like theirs, it's tough for them to keep them out of just about everything. What's the matter, Jericho? Did you get hurt taking a little tumble out of the ring? Were we too rough for you? Well, let me tell you something. You're gonna get it a lot worse than that when I give you the first World Heavyweight title opportunity after WrestleMania. So let me ask you. Was it worth a little beating? Or do you wanna head home and cry yourself to sleep? Absolutely worth it, Triple H. And don't misunderstand me. I can take whatever you dish out. But if you try and double cross Y to J, you're never going to make it to WrestleMania, Junior. I can't believe that Chris Jericho would sell his soul to that devil, Triple H. At least he got a good price for it, JR. As long as Triple H retains the title at WrestleMania, Jericho's the next number one contender.
Well, here comes the number one contender for Triple H's title at WrestleMania. But at the moment, he's got his sights set on a little payback against Y2J, Chris Jericho. If you ask me, he's got more guts than brains, JR. He's going to WrestleMania, yet here he is demanding a rematch with Y2J. And not just any match, a TLC match. There's that damn sellout, Jericho. I hope he's proud of himself. You can't tell me that you'd do anything different if you were in his shoes, JR. Jericho wants to make sure his opponent doesn't show up at WrestleMania in any condition to win the World Heavyweight title. That's right, King. If Triple H loses the championship, Jericho won't get his title opportunity. Boy, this John Cena, man, he's putting that steel chair to good use, JR. Boy, this John Cena sure is one of the most exciting young prospects in all of WWE. Oh, come on, JR. John Cena's a thug. You know it, I know it, and all of these people know it. It makes me sick that he's allowed to be a, a reversal. Can he capitalize on it? Oh, sure. Now the fans start to cheer for him. Now that he's in the driver's seat. Come on, King. He's had the crowd behind him all match. And now it's paying off. If any superstar shows the slightest hint of weakness, they've lost the match. That's for sure. No matter how beat up you are, you can't ever let your opponent know the extent of your injuries. And that's easier said than done, JR. The human body can only absorb so much punishment. This is raw action at its finest. That's why raw is the number one brand of sports entertainment. You've got that right, JR. You're not gonna see this kind of action on SmackDown. Not on SmackDown or anywhere else. There's nothing else out there that can come close to the excitement of seeing the Raw superstars perform live. Only one of them's gonna stay on that ladder, JR. Who's it gonna be? I don't care who you are. A few hits from a steel ladder will take all the fight out of it. These superstars are in terrific shape, and that comes as no surprise whatsoever. No kidding. If you don't have that condition, looks like he's trying for a pin here. Two. Was that three? No? Come on. These superstars sure aren't going easy on each other here tonight. What do you expect, King? This isn't ballet, you know. Oh, really, JR? Gosh, tell me more about your in-ring experience. Well, I've got a pinfall victory over Triple H to me. Through the table! That should give him enough time to try and grab the title. Look at the confidence radiating off this superstar. All I see is an overconfident superstar who's throwing away the match by not following up. Watch out! He reversed it! He may get the three count here. Why? Two. That wasn't even close to three. I don't care who you are. A few hits from a steel ladder will take all the fight out of you. Boy, it's obvious these superstars have done their homework on each other. They sure have, and this is one hell of an exam. Let's hope it's not their final exam, JR. I'd love to see him go at it again. Well, if I think the fans have their way, you'll get your wish, King. I don't think that these superstars have even contemplated the fact that they might lose. I'm sure they have. 
That's not the kind of attitude you come in with. He could pin him right here, JR. One, two. A count of two, and the referee's hand was coming down for the three. All's fair in love and war, JR. And I love it when this guy goes to war. Whoever said that cheaters never prosper certainly never saw this man in action. There aren't many superstars as diversely talented as John Cena. He's as good in the ring as he is on the microphone, and that's saying something. I won't argue with you about Cena's mic skills. He sure can't talk a good game. But when it comes right down to it, I don't think he can back it up. King, you're as crazy as a pet coon. Did you happen to notice that Cena held the WWE and United States titles? Seems to me like he's got no problem putting his money where his mouth is. Wow, what a shot! He's been busted wide open! That's gonna need stitches for sure! Stitches, hell! That might mean the end of this One, match! He's two, risking serious three. injury! But That's it! The match is over! the coach stop right there what do you think you're doing Jericho first you orchestrate an attack on my number one contender after your match last week and then you double team him here tonight and for what a title match against Triple H after Wrestlemania in case you've forgotten the coach is the general manager of Raw interim General Manager. You beat me to it, JR. And that means the coach calls the shots around here. So Jericho, Flair, get the hell out of my ring before I lose my temper. And believe me, you don't want to be in the ring with the coach when I lose my temper. Looks like Coach fell off more than he can chew. I can't say I'm sorry to see it, but I am sorry to say that it looks like Triple H's henchmen are still running the show here on Raw. What did Coach expect? Talking to two former world champions like that. If you want to order Raw superstars around like that, you'd better be able to back it up. Say, that gives me an idea. What are you talking about, King? I'll tell you later, JR. But first, I've got to give Mr. McMahon a call. Oh, SmackDown vs. Raw 2006, John Cena story. Okay, Christy, Stacy, let's go through tonight's schedule one more time. First, we've got a bikini contest, followed by a bra and panties match, and then there's the Diva Talent Show, and the evening gown match, and then you two in a pie-eating contest. Oh, I love Raw. I never thought I'd see it. Jerry the King Lawler as interim general manager of Raw. Okay, girls. I've got to deal with some serious business here. I'll see you two later tonight. <laughs> 